Shout out to Israel, GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen. First and foremost, we give all praises to the Heavenly Father and Son. Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai Barakadam. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The brothers out there is pushing this truth on the highways and byways of all truth and sincerity. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai Barakadam. Um, just want to um, um, bring a one or two scriptures out uh, going into um, these particular bodies that we're in and these bodies are basically like vile bodies man you know our spirit is trapped in these bodies you know and uh, just want to go into this because the scriptures talk about it uh, don't have my phone so we know to look up words on our phone and stuff but gotta go back Hey, to the basics, man. Looking it up in the concordance. Um, what I want to read for you is go to the book of Jude. Jude, uh, I started one, I started five. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how the Lord, how about Shemar Shai, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, Afterwards, destroy them that believe not. And the ones that believe not were the wicked Israelites, right? So in this particular time now, he's bringing the elect men's minds back, you know, into their remembrance of who they were, being prophets, you know, men of the Lord, messengers or whatnot. And it says, um, verse six, it says, and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation. He have reserved an everlasting chain unto darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Now these particular angels right here, they're talking about, uh, they're talking about us. You know, they're not talking about the angels that's in the spirit world with, with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They're talking about us. You know, um, I'll look that word angel up. Greek, uh, Greek, thirty, it's Greek thirty-two, uh, Greek thirty-two. It says, "Angelos, Angelos, from Angelo." A messenger, an angel, a pastor, angel, messenger. Angelos is a messenger sent by the Most High, or or by by the Most High. Uh, also used as guardian. The word most frequently referred to an order of created created beings. Right? So, these angels, these messengers, these envoys are, are, uh, are, are us, man. Because we are those messengers. We are the prophets. You know, and it says, the angels which kept not their first estate. The first estate meaning going back to, uh, it's going back like to Adam. You know, uh, that's Greek. Let me look at that Greek word. 746. Let's see what 746 is on, on first estate. Just bear with me, man, because this is uh going like doing it, you know, the first way we were taught. Greek 746. Uh arcade. Okay as a noun meaning a beginning. A beginning, it says, in applications of order, time, place, and rank. First estate, uh, magistrate, power, principle, rule. Um, you see.
have received a beginning to be spoken, first principle, origin, beginning. Let us leave the word of the beginning of Yahweh Shai, the doctrine of the element principles relating to Yahweh Shai. So in the beginning, you know, so when you read that again, it says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, so we lost our, we lost, basically lost our status we had. Because in those days, according to uh, Genesis, I think it's, it's six, let's see if it's five, six. Genesis six and four. Um, I started three. Well, just start. I just started top reading to it. It says, "And it came to pass when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. The sons of God saw that the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them as wives of all which they chose, because in the beginning you had the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of wicked. Three classifications of people." It says, and Yahweh said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, not that he also is flesh. It says, yet his days shall be 120, 120 years. They were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, that when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, they and they were children to them the same began to be mighty men which were of old men of renown so when you see that that's that giant right there's uh nepal is not talking about uh being tall like the acronyms it's not talking about that it's talking about status we're being on a, a high status and it said when we we when we had kids we, they began to be mighty men so we had a status, right? And it's when you go back to Jude, it says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, meaning we fell from that, that status, fell from that, that grace of the Lord. So he knocked us down, you know, and, and we haven't reached that status. Uh, we haven't reached that status again. You know, it's being those leaders again, you know, like in the beginning, you know, we haven't reached that status again, man. So, Back in Jude, it says, And the angels was kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. <clears throat> right? So I'm going to look at where that, that habitation, that's a Greek uh, 36, 13. Let's read that. 36, 13. Thirty-six thirteen. Let's see. Thirty-six thirteen. The Greek word, uh, orke, or orke, 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 Rion, okay, to Rion, the Greek word. Uh, it says, a resident, literally, habitation, a house, a habitation, a dwelling, um, Jew six of the heavenly region appointed by the Most High as a dwelling place for the angels. A house figurative of the spiritual bodies of believers when raised or changed at the return of the Lord. Huh. So these bodies we 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 when the, at the return of the Lord we will get that first estate back, which was those perfect bodies, right? And we don't have those perfect bodies now, right? So it says 
and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation so we left from that status of having those perfect bodies right for the disobedience man to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man for disobedience man uh, it says he have reserved an everlasting chain under darkness to the judgment of the great day Right, so chains go into uh, these these bodies being like a a, a a bond or like basically like a trap. Being in these bodies is like slavery, man. I'm gonna get that because chains uh, is a Greek, eleven ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Uh, the Greek is Desmon. Desmon, right? Des Desmon from the word or de uh, Desmos. A a band or uh, a band i.e. of the body or shackle of prisoner an impediment or a disability bond there's a band or chain there's mas a noun is usually found in a plural either masculine or neuter it means bonds which bind a prisoner so these bodies bodies that we're in it says we reserve for everlasting chains meaning we when we left our uh state when we were on status and then and then when the lord brings our spirit into these bodies that we're in now it's like an imprisonment it's like being in prison your spirit is in prison in these bodies man because uh in these bodies you know we are subject to sin in these bodies and going off you know so it's either in these bodies in this particular time Yahweh Shai either has to open your mind to understand what's going on or he's going to open your mind to either understand even in these bodies just to understand what's happening or he's going to not you know he's going to keep you blinded pursuing um, Isaiah 6 and Romans 11 so you know, there's certain spirits here that have been made messengers and prophets and pastors. Even though we're in these bodies, man, uh, we're still learning to understand what's going on. And it says, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved an everlasting chains under darkness, right? Uh... Under, under under darkness until the judgment of the great day so we we actually uh we it, it when our spirit is in these bodies man we die in these bodies basically we die because you know these bodies uh break down you know with esau and uh uh poison of the food and water you know our bodies constantly breaking down um going out you know we people work stand up all day you work 8 to 12 hours a day you know it's just physically these bodies are, are basically like no good man when we were taken down from that from that first habitation man you know being those giants man when you how about Shabbat Shabbat took us from that status man like you said they put the, these bodies here like a prison man you know and it says uh I read that again. It says, "For and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great of judgment of the great day, right? Which some people are going to receive rewards for what they've done in these bodies, and some people are going to receive uh, judgment, man." And um, you know, and and that's about it. You know, 
the deeds that we do in these bodies it just is what it is man some people gonna receive a, a reward or salvation some people are going to receive that uh, judgment, that punishment of thermonuclear destruction, man. You know? And um, just just to know, man, these bodies are a prison sentence, man. You know? And that prison sentence, man, to to brothers out there who wouldn't know this prison sentence is, is almost over. To people who, you know, maybe listen for the first time. You know? Understand when you read them scriptures, man. These bodies are a prison sentence, man. You know, and that prison sentence, man, we about to be acquitted, man. We about to be, be let go out of this prison. You know, we about to basically be free, man, through the power and the spirit of how about Shemel was shot. You know, with that, hey, GMS Arkansas, just stop and listen. Hope that short lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh by Shemel was shot. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Yahweh by Shemel was shot by thumb. To the, all the brothers in the Akim, you know, you know, just out there, hey man, just putting your putting your life on the line, pushing this truth, man. You know, just keep pushing. We almost out of here. Y'all bashing y'all shot back a thumb. Hey, shout out.